Okay, it's now time for part two of my of my PBS Kids shows that I like. And this time I'm going to be showing you my favorite PBS Kids shows from the 2000s to the early 2010s. And, uh, yeah, so first we have the, the first, we have the PBS Kids Go shows. Uh, first is Maya and Miguel. Um, I'm usually, um, I'm usually general to the show because there was a Spanish girl named Maya and he has a and she has a brother named Miguel and uh yeah if you got and yes you guys see my uh, promos of the of the show from my WGBH program ranks on my old VHS from 2004 and uh and uh yeah I don't usually watch all the shows but I like the intro though the intro is really catchy and yeah I never watched the shows Watch watch the show's episodes, but I will uh, someday. But maybe I don't know. I don't remember watching Maya and Miguel for like for like a long time because um for like a long time I never watched Maya and Miguel for like a long time. Maybe I saw it. I don't remember what year I first watched it. I think it was two thousand seven or or maybe two thousand six. I don't know. Okay, next is Fetch with Ruff Ruffman. Yes, uh, Fetch with Ruff Ruffman is a show where he had to uh, find things and stuff. Uh, my favorite part was the halftime quiz show because because the song that was playing on the halftime quiz show was kind of really catchy. And even the theme song. And uh, yeah, I know everyone hates uh, Fetch. Fetch, I guess. Well, some people don't like Fetch, but, um, but, um, yeah. My favorite season was, uh, every season. <laughs> I, I never watched, I never watched all the seasons, but I watched some of the episodes from all the seasons. And I'm really sad that got canceled in 2010. Because I never heard of what year that did Fetch with Ruff Redmond got canceled. But thank goodness I found that out. I think I found that out, um, I think, uh, 2016 I found that out, which is their 10th anniversary. I thought Fetch would still be airing, like, still be airing with more seasons. Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yay. Yes, this one. Curious George. I love this show. I usually remember watching the show, uh, since, uh, two years ago, since 2018. And I remember watching the show uh, for the first time since 2007. I wasn't really interested of that show, of, of that show, first off when I was when I was old. I think I stopped watching it and since uh, I think I stopped watching the watching Curious George. Uh, I think uh, since uh 2013, and um, uh, yeah, and and uh, in 2018, I I still I. Came back watching Curious George, and even I still have this uh, Curious George uh, doctor plush that I got from the hospital, right? Um, right, I have where uh, where I have my appendicitis, where I have my appendix out. So um, yeah, I still watch the show, and I still like it. So uh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, this one, Super Y. Um, yeah, uh, Super Y. I never heard, uh, I do heard of Super Y since this came out in 2007. I first watched the show, I think, I think I watched the show, I think I first watched the show Super Y since, uh, since this came out in 2007, in 2007. And, uh, um, I think, uh, Super Y got taken off the air I think back in 2017 or 2018 got taken off the air. I don't remember what what year did Super Y t take off the air in the, on on my PBS Kids station, but but I still like it though. I used to watch watch some of the episodes. My first my favorite episode from Super Y was a uh, um was a uh, Cinderella and um and, um, and, uh, 
I think, and I think Hansel and Gretel. Yeah, yeah, I think Hansel and Gretel was my second. <laughs> I don't remember. So um, yeah, and um, uh, wrote, and um, and uh, what I really like about this show was the songs that that uh before the before they end the show they have some songs some short songs right right the end my favorite two songs were like the the super uh the WHY song and it's rhyming time song and uh yeah and uh and one more word why is uh Al the pig a human like seriously <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, Sid the Science Kid. This is, like, similar to the, um, this is, like, similar to, to, uh, Super Y, but more, more, in more human animation look. Um, um, I do usually like this show, show, uh, since I was little. I think I, uh, I first watched the show since this came out in, t since the show came out in 2008. And, um, uh, I, and, uh, I think I stopped, uh, and then, and I do remember seeing, seeing, I see, seeing a Sid the Science Kid, Science Kid episode in my school. And I think it was the birthday cake episode. And, um, and, um, and, um, and, uh, in this, in this, um, in this episode, um, I don't rem I don't remember uh and uh, I can't tell you what the episode was so uh, yeah so uh, so, uh yeah so um yeah I'm a, I and I think I stopped watching this show since um 2013 I guess oh no not 2013 I think 2015 or 14 I don't remember so um yeah I do like the show though, but I don't like the animation of it. I do like, I do like, the um, I do like season two of it, but I don't usually like season one because this, because it creeps me out a little. So yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Here's another. Here's another PBS Kids Go show. It's called Word Girl. Uh, Word Girl is a is a show that came out. In the same year where Super Y came out in 2007. Yeah, which is uh, 2007. And there was this monkey, assistant monkey that, ha that had with her. Her name is Huggy Face. And, uh, yeah. And uh, there was this, like, she had the Pfeiffer villain villains with some, some, some uh, vocabulary words. And, uh, and uh, it's just really hard, hard words. Since I was, since I watched this show, since I... Since I watched the show when I was little, I don't remember, I don't remember watching, watching, I remember all of the words. Because all the words I seen from the show was really hard for me. But I do know it now. So, uh, yeah. And, um, and I, and I, and I'm really sad that, that, um, and, uh, wait, hold on. Um, my favorite villain from... From this show was um was the was the rat villain I don't remember what his name was, but he was voiced by Tom Kenny, which is the voice of SpongeBob. If you guys don't know it, uh, that that villain was voiced by Tom Kenny, which is the same voice actor from SpongeBob SquarePants. So yeah, and I really sad this got canceled back in the early 2010s. So um uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot that show was canceled in 2015, not the early 2010s. Sorry, I just got a little mixed up. Martha Speaks. I do heard about Martha Speaks since this came out in 2008, and uh, there was this talking dog named Martha who was talking about some words, and I, I remember playing playing those Martha Speaks games in in, in my school. And, uh, yeah, they were kind of fun. Yeah. I do like the ending of it, because the ending is is the instrumental of the song, which is really catchy. Yeah. And, uh, 
in a yeah. And uh yeah. And I don't remember watching all the episodes because I don't usually watch all the episodes from this show, but I do like the promos, the ending, and the theme song of the song. It was so cool. Yeah, and catchy too. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 This is, uh, this is the first show, the first show that I used to like in the early 2010s. And that is Wild Kratts. Yes, the spin-off show of Sp Sabumafu. Yes, like, there was the Crab Brothers, and there were, like, in the, in this, in the show, there were saving, like, animals in the show. So, um, uh, so, uh, yeah. And there were saving from those villains. Like, the first one was Zack. The, the, um, the second one was the chef. I, I don't remember what his name was. Uh, Zack, um... I do the first one. The first one is Zack. And, uh, I think Gargamel was was the name. Name of the chef? I don't know. And, and Donita. And, yeah, there were three. Including four. Including one more. One new character. Which, um, which she, which they didn't air in some episodes. Which she aired in some episodes. And her name was, like, Paisley. And, um, yeah, I do like her, but I do like the Wild Kratts more, and Donita. I don't know, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and one more word. I, I, um, I thought this show was made in 2011, because when I noticed on Google, I, I noticed that this show was made in 2010, like, Really, this show was made in 2010. I oh, oh my goodness! I thought this show was made in 2011 because when I saw the end credits of it, it said like copyright 2011, but 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 fortunately it said but fortunately the show was made in 2010. Like oh my god, oh my gosh, that that's so weird. Oh my gosh, I I could have sworn that 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 was aired. Aired in 2011, 2010. I thought that show was aired in 2011, but apparently not. Oh my gosh. But I still watched the show, like, over three years. Yeah. Throughout the years, I watched the show. And I still like it. Because I like the Crap Brothers spin-off series of Zaboonfu. I still like Zaboonfu and the Wildcrats. So yeah, I do like both of these shows. So yeah. Okay, that is it for part two. Stay tuned for part three. So I had to make this short because it is like, it's like, it was like 11 p.m. And I'm totally busy doing, doing stuff. So yeah, sorry. And what I realize, and, uh, and if you realize my hair is wet because I had to wash my hair, there was something in my hair and, uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, see you in part three. So, see ya.